All right, here we go with our video, 4.4 ionic substances. Now, we've already talked about ionic bondings. Now we're going to look at some of the way that ionic substances behave because of the types of bonds they have. So in general, simple ions will be formed when a group 1 or 2 metal bonds with a group 16 or 17 nonmetal. And these groups happily form ions with one another. All right, review, group one and two, right? They're metals, so they form cations, right? A positive ions are cations. Right? The T looks like a plus, cations. Right, they lose electrons, form positive ions with a smaller atomic radius. And when we name these uh, ionic compounds, the metal just keeps its name, but we add the word ion to the end. So when Na, sodium, gives up an electron, becomes Na+, plus, we call it a sodium ion. There's no real change to the name. Our group 16 and 17 nonmetals form anions. I always remember this, a negative ion. So they are negative ions. They do it by gaining electrons. Negative ions, of course, the, they have a larger radius and when we name it we keep the root name of the element but change the ending to ide for example chlorine becomes chloride oxygen becomes oxide nitrogen nitride bromine bromide iodine iodide etc etc we've gone over this in class as well now more complicated are what's called polyatomic ions and I think like to think of it as a covalent ion well what that means is that they contain both ionic and covalent bonds okay so here if we have sodium hydroxide right and a plus and O H minus. So here between the oxygen and the hydrogen is a covalent bond but since this is negatively charged and the sodium ion is positively charged they stick together like things that are ionically bonded normally will do. So here we'll have if a metal combines with a polyatomic ion like this example Okay, yeah, the, here's the metal, here's the polyatomic ion, and there's an ionic bond between them. Now you can also have a polyatomic ion combined with a non-metal. Right? For example, if we have, let's see, if we have ammonium chloride, Ammonium is MH4 plus chloride Cl minus. Right, here's our polyatomic ion. Between this nitrogen and each of these hydrogens is a covalent bond. And here we have our chloride ion. And since one's positive, one's negative, they stick together. And the ionic bond between them is how they stick together. All right, so now, because of the nature of ionic substances sticking together so hard, they have properties that define them, and we have to know these properties. They can form very large ionic structures. Okay, we've seen this picture before. And there's a closely packed regular lattice. And regular just means that it's orderly. You'll have uh, one type of ion, like negative ion, positive ion, negative ion, positive ion, negative ion, positive ion. That's what regular means. It doesn't mean normal. Kind of like a repeating pattern. And these ionic bonds are very strong chemical bonds. They'll form crystals, which are a giant ionic lattice. They have a high melting point and a high boiling point due to the strong bonds between the ions. 
when put into water or any other polar liquid they will dissolve and dissociate dissociate means that they will separate so right if you have n a c l we put it into water any other container of water we put this in here they separate into the positive and negative parts the sodium ions and the chloride ions separate and the ions here become mobile so now since these ions are mobile it's like mobile charges it'll conduct electricity and there's a demonstration I'll do for you guys in class they also conduct electricity when melted so any kind of liquid state right NaCl liquid which is when it's melted or NaCl AQ which is when it's dissolved in water both conduct electricity and NaCl solid does not conduct electricity all right question time some simple questions we should be able to answer based on the video if you cannot well if you can't answer this one go back and watch again if you can't name these go back and watch again if you can't name these I will cry in school tomorrow because we've done these a million times by now all right that brings us to the end and I will see you guys in